I I would like now that we're live on YouTube to say that I think the strategy of Instagram first is great because the Instagram feed is of course ephemeral. It takes a while to and pull it's in. slow. And um, those watching on Instagram uh, will see an experience that no one else will in the future. Mm -hmm. um, they get to see us from further away. They get to see our very elaborate MacGyver setup of mm -hmm. tablecloth. It's a slightly different perspective. Table. Um, right. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what folks enjoy more. Uh, if you're watch, if you've watched both, let us know which which feed you like better, the YouTube or the Instagram. I'm 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 truly curious because yeah. I like watching people's comments, but um, I just love knowing what people think. Yeah. Um, often to their annoyance because I'm constantly asking people to tell me about their feelings. You accommodate me so nicely. Um, yeah. How have you been feeling, Paul DeGeorge? Welcome to broadcast. Oh, it's good to be back. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling mm -hmm. like uh, we're making good progress here at Wonder Fair. You've been doing a great job adding lots of new things to the website late at night he, while you listen to Epcot Center here, soundtracks. Here and there, here and there getting more things added. Um, I did a little dive last night. Stuff's not live yet, but... We'll, we'll get some new stuff up there. I was just looking at like, what are things people used to buy from us back when we were a store, a store you could walk to. walk through yeah. that we haven't yet got online. So I was looking at some of like the greatest hits and trying to get those online. I did some of that too. I created a matrix product for the Marvy Le Pin so oh. that people could soon buy Le Pins and yeah. single stock from us. Wonderful. So that was fun. Um, I've been doing a lot of ordering at home at night, preparing for both Mother's Day and y'all. I have been buying gift wrapping supplies <laughs> like it's going out of style or coming into style. I don't know which one it's going to be. Coming into style, yeah. But the thing I will, people keep saying, like, make sure you return to a pass that's better than the one you left behind when this is over. And I want to keep gift wrapping things, I decided. So that's um, what I'm keeping. Is that going to be the big, big change at Wonder Fair in terms of uh, hmm. once we reopen? Do you get to live your gift wrapping dream? I think that will be the second biggest thing at Wonder Fair. Mm -hmm. And the first biggest is going to be Dave's going to be so naughty and weird. <laughs> if we when return, folks come back. Well, I just don't know what to expect. He's uh, We've been just like pretty much solo with Dave for nine on a month now. Yeah. And what's it going to be like when Dave returns to being a shop cat with many adoring fans? Mm. I, I think know. he will enjoy that. He, he is an will. attention hound. He loves, <laughs> he loves those snugs. So anyway, welcome to Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. Thanks it's for joining Thursday. us. Wonderful home shopping. Thank you. Elizabeth says they prefer YouTube because ah. it's closer. Yeah. Which is, it's it's a thing. We just like the framing element is so hard on Instagram. I feel like we pr figured out a pretty good system by which we have this draped front and the comments can scroll up. I'm pretty pleased with that innovation. Um, and we're able to frame in our beautiful set here. Big budget set, yeah. as you all know. If we were merely one face talking to you, I think the Instagram screen could be logical, but Instagram is designed to allow us to be solitary and internal, which mm. is great for viewers and not great for co-hosts. Not great for a viewers. TV show. We're a team. Big old TV show. Let's move into the up news update. I'll take care of that. I'll take, you take care of that? I'll take care of the news update. Great. I'll take care of this nice person yep. on the phone. It's live. Thank you for Live, t live uh, TV here. Um, Meredith's moving outside. Um, we miss you too, folks in Instagram. You'll be back here soon enough, I'm sure. Um, so let's see. Um, quick, we'll quickly cover a few things we've been talking about this week. We've got a planner sale going on. It's our first big internet website sale. The code, discount code is new plans. You can see it right here because we didn't take it down from yesterday. Um, and that's going to be good on any 2020 dated planner. Those are the ones that have all the dates already printed on the page for you. 
we know you already tore up your old planners and you've probably just been making mental lists since then. Um, so get a fresh new planner, start fresh, 50% um, off using this code. Or if you want to get, let's say, weird, if you want to trust us to make decisions on your behalf, we can um, we can take an order for a mystery planner. So um, it's kind of tiered by, by different prices there. But if you trust us to make a decision, you get to choose a few things you might be looking for in a planner. And we're going to pull one off the shelf that we think is going to fit. Um, we can't promise you will like it, but it will be cheap. So there you go. And you might just get to try out some new things. Um, and that's kind of fun. So. We'll do it that way. Um, I'm trying to like kill time here for Meredith to get back because there's some really big news that I think Meredith will enjoy hearing, but sounds like she's deep in a call now. Um, my general policy is take down the phone number, call them back after the show, but maybe she's working up, working up an order is what it seems like. Um, yesterday we had Nikita on the show doing star charts. Um, well, not quite charts. She was, Nikita was matching um, items in the store to your um, star sign. Um, I learned a lot. Um, and Tuesday on the show, we had Lee Meisel from Leeway Franks. It's been a pretty eventful week here at the Wonder Fair Home Shopping Network. Um, I'll remind everybody that tonight, um, the library is starting a new local talk show. Um, and you can tune in. Uh, it's either seven or eight o'clock tonight, but Brad Allen, director of the Lawrence Public Library, will be interviewing our mayor, Jennifer Ananda. Here comes Meredith. What's yeah, the news from that. the phone? Oh, okay, great. Well, the news is that they need exacto knives for oh. stencil cutting. Hey, we've got we like four knives. kinds of those, <laughs> and an additional bunch of kinds of snap blades and utility knives and. Scraper blades and swivel blades. If you want to get your ear talked off about exacto knives, just give us a call after the show. We'll let you <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you all the things you need to know about Oops. them. Um, okay, I was saving the real big news for big news. for when you were here. Yeah, oh. um, Kate Meyer, our fact checker, let me know yesterday that Munchers is reopening oh. this week and Limestone. With delivery services. Limestone tonight. is opening, not not for like people to come in, but yeah, they're somehow take out donuts. Oh so man, a donut bad would be now. great. Um, oh, we've been wow. we've been going over to Leeway Frank's for pickups, and but <gasps> every time I'm there, I'm like, hmm, it'd be really nice to eat a donut right oh, now. Oh, I want a donut. I know. Um, and I want a pizza. The the other big Stop. news. I mean, if you're downtown every day like us, the options have been pretty limited, and and we've been that's fine. And we've been we spending understand. around. We ate at the sushi disco yesterday. Uh, I believe the actual name of that business is um, Tokyo, Sushi. Tokyo Sushi, but it looks like a disco, so we call it Sushi Disco. Um, but tomorrow, Limestone resumes takeout service starting at 4 p.m. So this is great news. You get pizzas, sandwiches, maybe. I don't know what's going to be on the takeout menu. I'm going to camp out on, <laughs> near my phone to call them right, right at, at four. four. Like people used to camp out to like get Concert things. tickets, yeah. Okay, great. Well, uh, Still no news from Taco Zone, though. I mean, we're just, that's just not going to happen. And I know you need to just <laughs> like make peace with that. It's going to happen. Mm. Okay, so... We had a very busy day yesterday it and was. didn't get to all of our Earth Day things. But we didn't I get proposed, to any of the Earth Day things. I propose things. that Earth Day is every day. Yeah. Unless you are watching this program from outer space. Space in day. In which case. Every day is space day. Uh, there's never a space day. Well, Isn't that there sad? will be someday. There will be someday. Once we've polluted space beyond repair. Earth, you mean? Okay. So. <laughs> Earth Day things. I mean, the most obvious Earth Day thing in our shop is this beautiful sticker by the designer Nicole Lavelle, who makes mini ray stickers. Mini They're like stickers. very classic printed on vinyl bumper stickers. Um, Chunky her, vinyl. She designs all of her own type, and it's always very nostalgic, kind of a 70s vibe. This one just simply says, I love Earth. We love it. That's it. I mean, I could see this matching one of those coexist stickers that are so prominent <laughs> in Lawrence. I mean, it's going to look great next to a Wonder Fair bumper sticker. That's for absolute sure. And, you know, 
Frequently, we're just throwing those bumper stickers in with orders. So just you could order on this one. Mug. Oh, boom. Looks there you good. go. Looks great uh, on a mug. Looks good on your reusable mug from Wheatfields. It's a great bumper sticker, and it's a mere $5. These bumper stickers, they're uh -huh. great. Love them. It's up in the store right now on the internet, wonderfairhomeshopping.com. Just go to As Seen on Wonderfair TV. Uh, what else did you bring? Well, Earth Day things. I mean, Earth speaking Day. of loving Earth God. and... Just a quick tie-in with the upcoming Mother's Day holiday, Got everyone. Coming one at of my favorite things. Actually, I will say it's one of your favorite things. We met this vendor in New York last year, and um, their name is Poem Press. It's a woman-run business, um, maybe even a one-person show. And this little pin says, love your mother. And then it has, I believe, the, um, is that the UN symbol for Earth with the sort of... I don't know exactly. Symbol? I mean, I think it's the... Just understood. Generally to me. accepted iconography for symbolizing the planet. Is the planet a little bit squashed? How this does circular look a are squashed. we? I don't know if it's the um, emoji hmm. kind of. Well, this love your mother pen I think has a dual valence. Um, you should love your mother. Um, you know, and I won't go into the details. Some some comp relationships are complicated. But if that one wasn't doing it for you, you can still have Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. So this is a pin for everybody. Yep. Love your mother, everybody. Um, speaking of what shape even is the Earth? Wow, this one. I propose. Not flat. Buckminster Fuller, the not flat magnetic Dymaxion folding globe. We've carried this for a long time because A, we totally stand Buckminster Fuller. He was way ahead of the game when it, well, you know what? Honestly, people have been trying to make everyone have a more just society for a long, long time, like all the time. But Buckminster Fuller used his power to try and his architecture to try to make people um, live more equally and understand better their relationship to the planet. So one of the things he proposed um, philosophically was the Dymaxion globe, which is basically uh, a rethinking of how we draw a flat version of the globe so that it doesn't privilege any one country and make it larger than it actually appears in terms of ocean to land mass. And in addition, his Dymaxium globe attempted to make it so that all the countries were still interconnected so that we were one, as he described, I think it was a one island country in a one uh, one planet world or something a like one world island in a one world ocean one world island and one world ocean i mean it sounds like something jimmy buffett would sing to you wow if jimmy buffett were more interested in like coexistence i think than, i've got a job to than do than margaritas uh but one no shit to jimmy ocean. buffett he's a pretty good guy like Buckminster Fuller, really using this platform for the greater good. Mm -hmm. So um, this is basically like a magnetic puzzle where you snap all the pieces together. Everyone who works here has gotten pretty good at this because um, children are constantly taking it apart. And I grouchily will not help a child finish this. <laughs> when they come and ask me how to do it, I'm just like, keep trying. Because I feel like if we tell kids, like, we'll fix the earth and make it work for them, this like hasn't happened over and over. We can't keep letting forcing our children to uh, you know, like that that metaphor fell apart. I was, anyway, I was gonna propose we have a, a contest here to see oh. who can go fastest. Okay, well uh, I have a, to be silent for this. Thing. This is a real um contest of wonderfair specific skills, which is reforming the Dymaxium globe. Okay, ready? Uh shall you use a I was thinking we'd use a stopwatch just to see how fast we can okay. do it. And then our other employees can test their skills against whoever sets the record today. All right. Well, I haven't um, really been training for this, but we'll do our best. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, this so gently clacks. Clickety mm -hmm. clackety. I think I might have made a wrong turn, but we'll see. Oh, no. Wrong turn. I don't know. Mine's a little harder here because mm. it's all black. Well, that's that's not the goth. Ugh. Twenty-five seconds, Meredith. That's pretty good. I was just a little behind. You're doing great. Okay, so the Dymaxium folding globe. Now you can see it. 
Um, like Buckminster Fuller's domes, it has, they're considered geodesic. So this is a little bit different. Every triangle is the same shape in this example, um, but it does form a globe. You can see all the countries attached to each other. I did it. <laughs> it was like twice as long. Uh, so <laughs> you were, I was distracted you. I had um, one that was stuck inside. <laughs> uh, it also comes with this beautiful fold out that talks about Buckminster Fuller and includes information. So I feel like for an adult or a child, this Earth Day gift that you can give to yourself and then maybe think about the Earth in a different way is just one of my favorite things we've ever sold. Keep it on your desk, fidget with it. Do whatever you want. If you um, leave it on a table and eventually people can come to your house. They will constantly be taking this part and building it. So I just love it. Just $15. Love your mother. Um, what a beautiful thing. I don't even know if it's on the website. You can also put this on your fridge too. Well, that's true. Um, it could be slapped you on your fridge. Slap it on your you fridge. You could hold up a lot of notes with this. Yeah. Or. Um, it is on our website. Oh, good job, us. It's, it's right there for you. Or you can call us. Um, 15 bucks. It's a classic. Wonder Fair classic. That was good, right? Beautiful. That was some real home shopping movie magic there. Um, okay, so... This is from our friends at AreaWare. Yeah. And if you've, you've probably seen some of their great um, puzzles in our store, they have um, gradient puzzles and these cool new lenticular type puzzles. Got more coming in. Got a reorder coming in. So if you've been waiting... Waiting to get a weird puzzle, they'll be back in stock soon. That's an that's an update from my my ordering side of things. Great job. Okay, so um, continuing zooming through, zoom zoom, because I have learned that I am a time waster. <laughs> so I'm trying to be more zoomy today with my Earth Day picking since we already missed Earth Day Bible Day. I kind of, this is my wild card. Yeah. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> you clearly agree. I mean, I like what you did. But. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so what I pulled here was uh, we sell Sculpey, which is a polymer oven bake clay. It's used to make like tiny little food or beads or I don't know, whatever you want to make and then bake. Um, so I pulled out a blue and a green from our collection. I did put them on the website just in case. And my thought was uh, this could be used to make many tiny globes as little beads or just one little one. And maybe then you can hold a tiny globe in your hand and understand like how small we all are, but also how precious the earth is. So we're cyclically small to each other and we have to take care of each other. I just got, I was thinking there about holding a tiny globe and it made me feel good. Meredith's it got could, a globe thing. I got a whole globe. Th I do have a globe thing. You're right. Yeah. I collect globes. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's pretty, it's like a pretty basic white girl thing to do to collect globes, if I'm honest. Mm, but you have some fun ones. I do. I do try to, I try to have standards. I also will not pay more than 15 doll hairs for a vintage globe. <laughs> Just 15, huh? Not into that extortionate economy of. Okay, I have no, I have no regrets about the 80 bucks I spent at Blackbird Trading Post on that moon globe. Well, the moon is even better than that. Moon globe is choice. Yes. Uh, so anyway, maybe I'll take y'all on a collection, a tour of my globe collection someday. Maybe. But in the meantime, I brought this Sculpey because you can make anything with Sculpey. You can make a moon. You can make the planet Earth, Terra Firma. You do what you want. Um, it's just a chunk until you make something of it. Unlike the Earth, lift, which was totally here before us. Okay. Um, moving right through, uh, we pulled this beautiful kid's book that's pretty new. It's called My Friend Earth. Yeah, brand new. Um, you you buy these, so would you like, oh, that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of really good looking kid's books, folks. Yeah, this one's exceptional. Um, it's a new one. It's got these great die cut pages. You can kind of see what's mm -hmm. going on here with these different shapes going. I'm trying to show it off. It's not I know, working. I don't Just know. trust us. Yeah. Oh, well, I bet that's exacto, friend. Already? Well, you said the word die cut, so they called. Okay, so really, it's on you. Think okay. about it. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a whole other person. I'll, so, be, I'll be here. Yep. Beautiful new book, kid's book. Uh, it's called My Friend Earth, and you can find that. You know, we still haven't reorganized a website in any way, shape, or form, so just kind of like look around and eventually maybe you'll come across this book. I think it's under kids. There's a schools out section. That's the kids section. I don't know what we're doing here. Maybe Meredith's right. Maybe we do need to reorganize the, um, the uh, website. 
Um, verdict's still out. Oh, it was on our website. Well, while Meredith is, hello to my brother. Hello, Kara. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, you know, if you're just tuning in, we're showing off some stuff we pulled to, sh to showcase yesterday on Earth Day and then didn't get around to showcasing because we had Nikita on um, talking about astrological um, related uh, stationary picks. <laughs> okay, here's here's a goofy one. Um, this is a, this is a gift, or I mean, maybe for yourself. This is for um, folks who love the um, sort of international standardization of paper sizes, uh, which you'll know and recognize from many of the notebooks in Wonder Fair. The A um, numbering system, A4, A5, A6, important to note, um, the larger numbers denote smaller and smaller sizes of paper. Um, and it all stems from an A size of paper that then gets cut in half, A2, and then cut that one in half, A3, then cut that one in half, A4. It's kind of amazing to see when you get into it. Um, and so if you just love that system of measuring paper, now you can have a reusable water bottle in the standard A6 size. Love it. You want to grab an, uh, an A6 over there oh, so we can sure. demonstrate this, sure. uh, oh, this beautiful size? Uh, How about this size? nice Midori diary? Yeah, OK. And this one A6. is on sale right now. Yeah. So there, if you have a stationary um, carrying case already sized to your notebook. Just slip that water bottle right in. Mm -hmm. Boom. It's a really sturdy seal. I thought of something else this would be great for, which is what I've been helping a lot of watercolorists on the phone, uh -huh. trying to get supplied up for spring adventures in the field. Watercoloring. Are you here? There's something? somebody here. I don't know what. Yes, there. someone's oh, here. Goofy. We must have forgotten to lock the door. Um. So what a day, Hi. folks. Um, so you could take this out water coloring, um, fill the water up so that you have water in the field when you're needing to wet your palette. And because it's flat and low profile, it's going to slide down nice in your carry case for your art kit. Just a bonus for you. Could be your everyday water bottle or it could be your watercolor water bottle. A mystery is happening at the front door and I'm so curious, but I'm definitely not allowed to check. I'll have to wait for Paul. So, who is there, Joe? Joe and Kara, love to see you here, and I miss you. Um, should I peek at who's there? I'm so curious. I have to know. Who would come past our obvious blockade? Oh. I don't know. It's some kids, but they're wearing masks. Um, that's our bad. We try to keep the door locked, but must have missed locking it behind us at some point recently. Mysterious. Um, okay, so the people who are there, I mean, anyone just like trying to wander into a shop right now, I feel like they're probably a Rumpelstiltskin who's been asleep for a month and they just woke up and they're really confused. So I have a lot of empathy for them because nothing's open, y'all. <laughs> well, that's stressful when you forget to lock the door and somebody just rolls in. <laughs> yeah, because the store is not, so, like there's a big blockade in the front of the store, none of the lights are on. Anyway, except the studio lights. So, Paul, I just was confused about the door and I just wasted time. Oh, okay, well. Sorry. But you know what? Moving right along, I did talk about the water bottle. Success. Okay, these are up on the website now. $28 for the A6, $22 for the A7, the A7, did you pull this out? No, it's, it's so, so cute, cute and tiny. So it's tiny. It's like a little pocket flask. It's, yeah, exactly. If this would can... actually be the ideal one for the watercolor yeah. in the field. It's, it's so teeny. I got to say, you know, they list the amount in, um, in the metric system, which we should all use, which is 180 milliliters. Sounds like a lot, but it's just six ounces. Which is why it would be great <laughs> as a watercolor jug or straight up, they probably assume you're using that as a whiskey glass. Yeah, it's it's six ounces. It doesn't just hold water. That's like a sip of water for those tracking. But what if it's for your cat or dog? That's plenty. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. For a walk. True. Just mm-hmm. take it on a walk with you. So your pet can have a have a sip. Anyway, um, I'm gonna move now. Well, Sorry, Joe. We don't have it. Do we have any A1 size paper? A1 oh, is pretty really big. large. Um, I think the largest paper, let's see. We might have some A1 paper. That's the straight size before it's all cut down. Yeah. We probably have A1 paper uh, in our art supply, uh, like papers. Anyway, we'll talk about paper yeah, another it's, day. Yeah, it's 23 by 33 inches. So like, Yeah, we definitely have some Yeah, it's like the size of a poster, 24 mm-hmm. by 36 inch poster, like the Word big up. ones, sports poster. So um, that's about an A1. And some wrapping sheets come that size. Yeah. So uh, we've been talking about- um, Wait, there's an A0? What? Is that true? That's just space time. You don't want to go folding that. Don't okay. do it. Back check. Don't do it, folks. A zero. You will yeah, it's discontinue. Two, it's two A ones. That's pretty big. Earth as we know it. Uh, I'm learning right now. The international paper uh, system was developed in 1922 hmm. by a German engineer, Dr. Walter Horstmann. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, Walt. It's very helpful. Um, imagine if all the paper was wacky sizes. It'd be so hard to buy a notebook cover. Anyway, Earth Day. Yo, we just got in these Bob Ross happy little puzzles. It's two puzzles in one tiny box, and one of the puzzles is Bob Ross standing in front of a landscape painting he made. Wow, it's two puzzles? It's two puzzles. In one box? I agree. They Are they really, all mixed up? It's so tiny. They've really overexerted themselves. I don't know how it's two puzzles. I'm kind of guessing they're like separated by baggies. You inside. think it's one of those two sided puzzles? No, but I would say that. Um, Hi, Dave. Oh, cute. Uh, I would say that uh, for the price, which I believe is like $10, you can just figure that out when you buy this adorable, <laughs> tiny, happy puzzle by Bob Ross. Um, why am I bringing Bob Ross puzzles to an Earth Day party? Because um, Bob Ross was devoted to painting an imaginary landscape that only existed in, in his dream world. But he was also kind of a dedicated, like, I wouldn't go as far as say environmentalist, but have you ever heard him talk about his squirrels that lived with him? And he just like he just loved nature. Like in his yard. Uh, or do they live like, in his house? I think he had pet squirrels. And one time they did come to the studio. How cute is that? I he heard. also made brushes from their fur. Whoa. Squirrel makes really nice well. paint brushes. Bob Ross was a lot. And uh, I love this tiny puzzle. I'm glad we got them in because I think it's just a cute little gifty for someone. We don't sell any squirrel hair puzzles yet. Uh, Squirrel hair paintbrushes. They're very expensive. That's why Bob Ross probably had to farm his own squirrels. Farming his own squirrels for for paintbrushes. Uh Well, now we know. Um, So don't fact check that. That is also a transition. Just let us pretend it's true. Some, I mean, Bob Ross' life was made on pretend. (laughs) <laughs> uh, pretending pretending every tree is happy. Uh, so moving into Bob Ross landscapes, I also just pulled a few of our landscape art supply sets. Mm. So if you're appreciating nature uh, right now, Earth Day and every day, why not get some colors to help you represent it? Uh, it can be s- strenuous to figure out one color at a time, how to create a palette that's perfect for rendering landscape. And by the way, um, light is different everywhere you go around the world. So for example, the set you might use in Paris is probably going to be different than the set you use in the desert where the air is really clear. And so the colors are really bright and contrasting. Famously, that's why a lot of painters go to the Southwest to paint because the palette's just really fantastic there and different than anywhere else. Not, And it's because of science, because of the air quality uh, and also because of like what's in the rocks and stuff. So this is a set of Desert Flora dual brush pens. And I love it because it comes with purples and pinks that you don't usually see in every landscape set. Uh, so Are you just teasing people? Like nobody can go to the Southwest to go do in landscapes right now. That's true. Where's our, where's our like Midwest spring color palette? This one. <laughs> these We showed these before, but this is the uh, ac- uh, open acrylic oh, landscape yeah. set. Um, it's very, the painting here, the air quality, the colors, we're a little more in that blue green zone. We mm-hmm. get a little bit of the browns going on. Yep. Um, famously the Midwest is great for printmakers. 
to render it black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Our strong printmaking black and white yes. rendering We tradition. got a lot of yeah. quality lines, big, beautiful skies, big contrasts. Yeah. So printmakers do come here. They also go to the Southwest. You've seen a lot of their work here in Wonder Fair. They're, Justin Mayer. You know, fields like of a, sunflowers yeah. are beautiful to paint. Um, I would say that the Rolling Hills are beautiful to paint. Local artist Claire Doveton picks the Midwest in a way that I think is exceptionally beautiful. Um, and I like greens and blues. So that works for me. But uh, sorry, I just made everyone feel bad if you're not in the desert. I guess. Go ahead, get the get the um, get the desert flora set and just look at photos on um, on Google Image Search. Just look up. I mean, that part of the country. What would Bob Ross do, Paul? Would Bob Ross travel to the desert to paint? Nope. No, he would just he would, Google his way there. He would. He would just sit in his black box <laughs> studio. He'd get his palette out, the really big one. The big one. And he would just go there in his mind. And you can do that too. With and the desert flora set of dual brush pens from Tombow, twenty six ninety nine. He made a whole universe from a studio in Sokini, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bob Ross was here for a reason earlier. Uh, we also have this extremely affordable set of artist soft pastels in the landscape palette. It has a whole lot of reds and browns and greens and blues. So it's going to do everything you need to get a little soft, um, shocky landscape going. That's the good smudgy stuff. Mm, yeah. And it washes easily. You can you use that like under your eyes like baseball players? You could 100% use it under your eyes. You might want to add some kind of um, sticky gum base to make it actually stick to you. Oh, okay. Because uh, it's going to wipe yeah. right off. It's These are dry soft Oh, they're the dry ones. The oil to, ones might be better for that. Oil could work for that. I wonder how much the oil would cling to your face, though. Your mm. face, like art papers. Like there's a perfect art paper and a perfect face for every art supply. Well, at some point, you know, if this goes on, maybe we'll figure out the best art supplies to use Put on, on face. your face. So tune in. I feel like that's every gonna day. Be a huge like FDA allergies problem for us. <laughs> and um we're trying to do everything by the book, but who knows? I mean, it's a lawless country now. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Okay, those are my Earth Day picks. I Earth Day picks. Earth Day picks. I I want to show off one other thing. Yes, you've. It seems like you've done a little bit of um, assembly here. Right. Is that what's going on? Well, we talked about how you gotta love your mother, mm -hmm. um, Mother Earth. But I also have been bringing up that Mother's Day approaches. Mm -hmm. um, I like to emphasize that Mother's Day is not just for one's own mother, particularly because that can be a complicated relationship. But you might have other mothers in your life you want to celebrate, or people who do mothering and in the broadest sense. So every day from now until like a week before Mother's Day when it's too late to get in the mail. So y'all got like three weeks left, maybe four. I don't remember. Um, I'm going to pull together one-off Mother's Day gift sets. All right. I'm very excited. I love one making off. gift sets. Yeah, you know, we normally plan gift sets really elaborately so that we can sell 10 to 20 or even more of a single kit. But in this world, that just doesn't make sense um, based on like how we're doing ordering. So I have this opportunity to do one at a time and show them to you. And then I'm just gonna pack it and send it. Um, some kits I'll be able to duplicate, but this is an example of a kit. I can only make one of it. Just one. Cause I only have one card um, that matches it perfectly. Uh, I this put is this the on level of website. quality we're offering you here at the Wonder Fair Home Shopping Network. I one love unique uh, Mother's Day package, perfectly matched. If this feels like a gift set that's perfectly matched to your mom or the mom you're gifting, you better snag it. So I call this the Purple Pros gift set. Do you know what Purple Pros is, Paul? Um, mm, I, no. It's a literary term that means like excessively flowery romantic oh, okay. language. I thought it was a It's Princeton. usually used as a pejorative, but I dissent. Okay. Uh, I love Purple Pros. I like it flowery. Uh, I think that there are times when it maybe goes overboard, but I'm still enjoying reading it. Uh, so the purple pro set is not meant as a pejorative, but rather I've chosen this beautiful dusty lilac vegan leather journal. It's lined. It's just like a nice keepsake style journal, but importantly, only $17 mm. uh, standalone. So it's a really good value. Um, we often sell a lot of journals for Mother's Day gifts, so I'm definitely headed that direction. Um, cause moms need to know that their feelings are valid and they need time alone. 
and dry them down. Just throw especially them out these there, days. especially these days. So give mom some me time with a journal. I've chosen this dusty lilac because it's beautiful. And I mashed it to a rifle paper tapestry rollerball pin. Mm -hmm. It's got a pattern on it of very small flowers on a dark field. And it perfectly matches the notebook. It's just a really reliable, simple pin. It's not it's not stressful like learning fountain. Not that fountain pens are stressful. But if your mom's not into fountain pens, that's not going to be a problem. And it matches so nicely. I've paired that with a little set of translucent butterfly stickers that each page um, give a little festive pop. And straight up, moms like stickers. Everybody likes stickers. Or, I like stickers, and I'm not. Or a you mom. can preload them in the journal if you, could, you want. That'd be so sweet. You could just slap um, them all in. This is a little bit of a like, it. family nod as well because um, members of my family, when their parent pass, their mom. Um, when they see a butterfly, they think of their mom. So for me, this is a little nod to my own mom who's passed in theirs, and it feels like a little, I just think it's beautiful. It's just my love for moms going out into the universe mm -hmm. with this matching set. Um, and they just look pretty together, folks. Sometimes it can just be pretty, and that's okay. Uh, and I paired it with the very last of our Knitted Blooms card by Red Cap, um, illustrated by Anna Leitinen. I probably pronounced that wrong. But uh, it has sort of flowers growing out of a knitted scarf and process. And below it, it says, you make everything bloom. So this purple pro set celebrates moms who make everything bloom, who you want to share flowery sentiments of love with. And I've got one, and it's $42. So pretty good price. Wow, all right. Um, and then it would be $3. We could wrap and ship it to the mom, or we could um, more lightly wrap and ship it to you, and then you take care of the rest. But uh, this is everything you need to get a gift in the mail to your moms in a timely fashion. Boom. So Boom. we're doing it for you. About it. Purple Pros, uh, I like it a lot. My mom also liked purple. It looks great. It looks and that's so up great. on the website now? It is. I did it. it. All right. Well, one available. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. Um, I feel like a mom would get that. Our like, fact wow. checker, Kate Meyer, um, so nicely. checks in saying her mom, Susie, really interested in sealing envelopes with stickers or washi tape instead of spit. Really good point. We are also not spit sealing any envelopes right now and are using tape instead. So... It's just We've considered got that. best practice. We've got stickers and washi tape. You got it all. Just saying. You can, of course, also use like a wet towel, but it's more cute if you use a butterfly sticker. Uh huh. Or, um, or this works in a pinch. Oh, yeah. I love Earth. It's $5. You it's slap it on the back of that envelope. It's definitely going to hold it sealed, not reusable at all. It's one and done, but it would really make a statement. If you're trying to burn through all of your cash reserves, just in case <laughs> just, the dollar just bottoms buy a bunch out. of five dollar bumper stickers and slap go. them on the back of those envelopes. There you go. It doesn't seem like a financially sound choice, but we're not here to judge you. Hey, we got some got some real high rollers out there, I'm sure. sure. Ready to drop five bucks to seal an envelope. Well, and we're here for it. That is my bombing run Maybe, of Earth Day and yeah. today's Mother's Day gift. I will prepare another Mother's Day set. To, for tomorrow. Fancy Friday tomorrow. Fancy Friday. It'll you be a fancy You can bet it's going to pack a punch. It's going to have a fancy fountain pen in it, no doubt. Okay. This is great. We got like 20 minutes left or so. Let's make with an unboxing because <gasps> boxes are piling up here. Um, and we either need to unbox them on the show or I don't know. They just languish on the stoop piling if we up, don't do that. Piling up high. Look at this big one. What is um, this? Is that well, an A1? Folks who've um, watched <laughs> our groundbreaking uh, YouTube unboxing series, groundbreaking because we're a wholesale buyer, mm -hmm. just unboxing lots of the same thing over and over very repetitively. Um, weirdly, people watched it. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm proud after all about our YouTube series. You 20, watch it. 25 great episodes. Uh, so I liked to do my unboxings in that series where I creatively unbox and first creatively think about what the box's like energy is. And this box is clearly a table. Oh yeah. We got a table um, box. They, there are two boxes from the same shipper, which is Mowgli. Uh, a, Husband and wife team of artists based just outside of Des Moines, I believe. Des Moines. Des Moines, if you will. I in believe Iowa. they're in Des Moines now. They might be. They moved. Um, 
Uh, fun fact, it is spelled M-O-G-L-E-A, and you will want to call them Moglia, but their last name is Mowgli. It's Mowgli. just hard It's just hard to keep in mind. So Hey, Lee is frequently spelled L-E-A, so there you go, Mowgli. Point. Mowgli. Um, so this Mowgli uh, group of boxes is also a table, and it could be a very comfortable little place to work, but if you insist I open it, it will ruin my table, which is like the only clean surface in the store right now. <laughs> so do you really want me to open it? We got to open something. You could skip <gasps> this and save it as a table. I do. But really what the heck is inside? Table. These well, guys make cards. That's a big do. card. Why don't you hand me that blade and I'll... Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to incise the seam. Let's talk about this beautiful packaging tape that they have too. Mowgli hard sheets and then cut down into cards and other products like notepads. And so each one's unique and extremely beautiful. Their understanding of colors and shape relationships is great. They have a small staff who help them paint everything. This is um, this is a real deal, folks. These are hand painted cards. Yeah. And they're doing it in a way that's smart. Yep. Beautiful. It's like getting a little abstract artwork. It's so great. In the mail. I love and it. And it's unique. All right. Okay. So, there's the and look at their great packing tape. Mommy Once again, do, 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 <laughs> just want to say that the packing tape is designed so that it looks great when it's like this. Yep. Uh, around the edges. They're smart artists, is what they are. Um. So this is a giant folio, and inside of this giant folio is wrapping paper. Oh. Now you might be wondering, like, gosh, that seems like an expensive way to ship wrapping paper, and I kind of agree, but it does. I don't. I don't know what's. I don't know what's up, but I have been investing in extra wrapping paper uh, because I've been told that if I build it, they will come, and I just want to wrap every gift. So I'm buying a lot of wrapping paper just in case. This is two kinds of wrapping paper. Shall I pull it out and review? Yeah, it? yeah. So, blam. This is the epiphany wrap. Uh, straight up don't remember where that holiday falls. I think it's Easter-ish though. And so just a beautiful pastel. It's got some pencil marks still on it. I can't wait to wrap somebody's baby wedding, birthday, or just because gift in this beautiful paper. So good. And straight up, if I received this as wrapping paper, I would then save the paper and use it as like a drawer liner or maybe like wrap kind of an ugly box in it so it looks cuter. Use it as a book cover, that could be fun. Uh, here's just a very subtle blue splatter dot. It almost looks shiny, but it is not. It's just simple. I really like wrapping papers that don't have, that either go way far out like that pastel pattern or they keep it pretty simple so that my bells and whistles can stand out on top. So I'm picturing this blue splatter with a lot of like fluorescent neon yarn and pom poms and maybe a confetti bow that has really bright colors inside of it. That's gonna be really cute. So Mowgli are artists helping me be a wrapping artist, which is nice. I ruined my table for the people, but it was a small sacrifice and I'm happy to make it. So, uh, I order pretty frequently from this brand because they ship so fast. They're basically right up the street from us here in Lawrence, just about two and a half, three hours away. Mm -hmm. And uh, they put tiny wedges of foam in my box. They're doing a great job I packing. love it so much. These are clearly reused. You got to show the favorite. folks oh. how this looks uh, yeah. packed. Yeah, let me repack it. looks quite it. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not, you don't usually see something this efficient unless you're ordering from the Japanese. Wow. It looks like a Dori Salcedo artwork. Mm -hmm. um, Dori Salcedo, of course, is an artist who makes sculpture and it's... Um, based on she's a Colum she's Colombian and her work is chairs and other bedroom furniture and living room furniture encased in blocks of cement and you can just see the edges of some of the chairs sticking out to know like the domestic life that would have been there so this is that there you go obviously you know people might be thinking like how are you using your art history degree running a stationary shop Meredith and the answer is I'm really not, but I'm trying <laughs> so hard. Uh, thanks, David Cataforis. Really appreciated you as a teacher. Um, so I'm loving these tiny bits of foam. 
They're very abstract and I intend to keep them and reuse them. So maybe you'll get one of these in the mail from us someday. Blam. Uh, I got some sets of cards. They have beautiful windows and reusable boxes. Card sets. These are really nice. They're really boxes. nice boxes. The fact that they have the peer through windows and they have like a slide out drawer. So it makes a little tray. So if I were you and I bought this box, I would save the box afterward and keep it on my table as a tray you could stack up and keep different art supplies in. Those are great I boxes. I know, right? Good boxes. Wow. Well, <laughs> I'm down to these um, beautifully stuff wrapped. Stuff that's wrapped. Uh, man, if you like unwrapping presents, maybe we're on a stationery store because you get to unwrap so many things. We're going to help things along in here. Wrapped in newsprint. Uh, I started getting my Father's Day cards in, so I've got some so grateful for you dad cards. Happy Father's Day from your favorite person. Oh, yeah. It's a, probably our best-selling Father's Day card. From your favorite? Yeah. I mean... Hotly debated in my family as who's the favorite. I, like I think I'm a pretty... I think I'm a pretty strong candidate because I've moved everything out of my parents' house. Well, that pretty did, much. that absolutely put you in the top, top two, <laughs> I think. But uh, no one's ever going to take down who Angela. Your, your youngest sister, who's well, just a really great. Person. She got in the doghouse after my parents had to help her move in New York City. That's so true, I don't that's know if true. she's recovered from that yet. We'll see. Uh, she helps. She bakes them a lot of nice food. Mm. Mm. Anyway, um, you're all the favorite. And if every sibling buys your father that card and sends it, that would be wow, really funny that would for be your pretty father. Funny. So just go for it. Yeah. Uh, got some happy Mother's Day here. Happy birthday. You don't need to show every card. Just I'm just going to show some of these so they can see the hand-painted sort of thing going. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, when you show mom, I love you also point out that the envelope is also printed. So it's not some simple white envelope. It's actually a color blocked envelope that comes in the mail. So nice. it's like a little present in the mail. So good. I shall now, this is the densest block. This is, um, an absolute unit of cards here. Well done. Oh, it looks really cute. I'm just going to give a side view of cards. Why not? We do what we want. Side view. Check it out. This way you can see how cute their envelopes are. <laughs> see, isn't it cute? This is like when you go to the hardware store and you see all of the sheets of drywall stacked up and they make those beautiful patterns and you think the world's beautiful. You gotta examine the details. That's basically card unboxing everybody. A view you'd rarely see because unless if you really love stationery, you probably never have this many cards stacked up on your desk together. We got an I'm sorry card. Oh, here's one for you, Paul. So happy you were born. It's true. It's a birthday card. It's so good. The paint on these even has a little bit of texture. It's really thickly yeah. applied. Really cute envelope. Anyway, uh, you are the best. That's a good one. Okay, we can't show all these I cards. I love this brand. Yeah, they're um, so great. Thanks, Moglia. Mowgli. Thanks, Mowgli. Yeah. I'll never remember it. I know. I also often get it, despite knowing absolutely how it's pronounced. So um, much respect to this wonderful company and the artists who run it and their incredible staff. I'm going to give a quick plug. Yeah. You should follow Mowgli on Instagram because okay. they often post photos of the very methodical process of painting their cards and watching them spread the ink, which they do by like squirting paint on with ketchup bottles. Oh, wow. And you'll see the artist just like squirt, squirt, Jackson Pollock all over these huge pieces of paper. And then they go back in with like pieces of paper or credit cards, like plastic. Yeah, yeah. And they just kind of swoop and swirl the paint. And it's so fun to watch and it's soothing and the colors are beautiful and I just think they're great. So give them a follow. I believe it's at Mowgli. There you go. Right, right here in the Midwest. Yeah. Um, not too many. I mean, we've got Hallmark here. You know, folks at home might not know this, might not realize, but Lawrence, Kansas could be considered the greeting card capital of America. America. 70% of Hallmark's cards are made right here in Lawrence at the Hallmark plant. They might currently be on furlough. I but... think they are, but just in general, maybe Lawrence needs to embrace the fact greeting card capital of America 
And, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how we fit into that. We sell has, greeting cards, I guess. If anyone has suggestions on how we can celebrate that, I have a proposal. Okay. World's giantest greeting card sculpture. There you go. Biggest greeting card it sculpture. It could just be like a huge kind of like let's put Abex. It, let's put it in card. our submergible sculpture park mm -hmm. down along the river here on the south side, just like between here and the boating dock. Submersible, submersible sculpture park. We'll put the giant concrete greeting card mm -hmm. up there. Another idea. Local cuisine is, of course, very important. It's important for your community to have like a food you make, like mm -hmm. in Erie, they got those weird pepperoni rolls and stuff. Yeah. What if we have a new food? What's our food? Envelope glue flavored lollipops. <sighs> that's gonna, you think that's gonna pull in the tourists? No, but I think when they're here and they're like, well, we're the largest export of greeting cards. So one of our main cuisines is like lollipops that taste like envelope glue that you can lick. Especially I'm, since you can't lick envelopes. I'm here anymore. for it. Who's the? Do we have any confectioners in town who can make that? Um, I feel like there's a lot of confectioners at home learning right now. Okay. Um, I just think somebody can do it. Bon Appetit magazine's probably gonna steal my idea, and I mm. and I give it to them because I really want to taste it. Envelope glue tastes pretty good. Okay. Actually, it could be flavored. Um, I just I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not sure that's the best idea you've had. Uh, well, they can't all be winners. But the big greeting card I'm, I'm okay. on board with. We'll stick with the big greeting card plan. I'll keep working my angle about the envelope flu as local cuisine. Um, that was that box by Mowgli, a great, great company. Great box. How is my time? We got another uh, five or six minutes. So do you want to I... try and shred another unboxing I, I think let's shred it let's save that black wing box for tomorrow okay it's, two unboxing it's tomorrow. fancy friday oh what else you got tomorrow well i also have a box from red cap cards okay. which also includes wrapping paper and more cards but i don't have to unbox it it could it could wait till next week I'm just what's gonna the rush it. what's the rush well i gotta sell those mother's day cards because okay y'all yeah, gotta, gotta get on gotta it. get those in. you gotta i gotta get them to you and then you gotta get them in the mail let's double check what day mother's day is Folks. really quick Folks on YouTube don't seem to be that into the idea of envelope flavored um, food. I, I I I concede. I don't have to have that. I think we'd come up with something better local. What anybody like? We're we're trying to figure this out. Like what what's our local cuisine that you can't find anywhere else? And and nobody quite seems to know. Maybe that horse feather cocktail was supposedly I, originated I have around heard here. That, yes. Is that right? Um, but it's not a food. It's a drink. I just want to say that the first, when I shot Mother's Day 2020, the first result you get on Etsy is risque. Oh, what is this? It's definitely a dildo. Oh, okay. We don't, <laughs> that's, we don't sell those here, but I'm kind of loving it as a concept. Sunday, May 10th is Mother's Day. That's coming up. It's coming up. Whoa. Uh, yeah, you're right. We've got to get that box. Got to get that yeah, box. Yeah, I got to get that box open because, you know, mm -hmm. you just like, you want to turn that card, you want your cards and gifts in the mail by like, mm, like the 14th or 15th to be extra safe. Are we going to need to do like a Mother's Day section on the website? I made one. You oh, did? I made one. Whoops. Tech update. Tech update. You will find on the Wonder Fair Home Shopping under monthly specials, I've created a subcategory that is Mother's Day gift suggestions. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Because it's just going to be a special for a limited time. But love your mother every day. There you go. Love your mother. Um, cool. Uh, well, I think that that might be a wrap for today's broadcast. We'll got to we'll, give Dave a snack. We do got to give Dave a snack. He's just sitting on top of a big old ream oh, of paper, staring at us it's, very intently. Ah, he knows we're talking hey, about him now. He does. Gave What's us up? a big old yawn. You ready for that snack? Ready to eat. Hmm. Oh. I'm just gonna stare at Dave. You can tell the people. Uh, we'll get some any more. Last we'll get some more Mother's Day stuff up on the website, including lots of great cards. Um, or call us and talk to us about your mom and what she's into. Yeah. And we'll, we'll concierge shop for it. your mom. Yeah. Would love to do that. Just like that. 
No deliveries today. It's Thursday. Yep. Although we are taking things to the post office, of course, like we do every day. Mm -hmm. Love the post office. I do love the post office. We got a tip from Stan the other day. Yeah. I heard you talking to Stan, the mailman. Mm -hmm. Was he giving you some inside info? Yes. Stan would like me to know that he'd be happy to pick up and take our deliveries to the post office. Oh, that's so nice. Uh huh. And he will bring us as many boxes as we need. And then check this out. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. He had his van there and it was full Stan's of these. Van. And I was like, can we have one of those tubs? This is a beautiful brand new so tub. So it's a beautiful brand new postal service tub. I just want to point out one annoying thing. Though. Yeah, they've added some text to this tub. I can they see. They have. <laughs> the maximum penalty for theft or misuse of postal property is a $1,000 fine and three years imprisonment. This annoyed me because I received this tub on the day that local developer, um, what's his name, Fritzel, who uh, is indicted for having an asbestos building and disposing of it improperly and also just like straight up being like kind of a uh, like. Uh, I mean, criminally tax, criminal tax, tax, tax scammed like half a million dollars he in the city. He has to spend one day in prison. One day? One That's day. all he got? Yes. And. He, um, his penalty is like $42,000 or something. I hardly feel that taking this mail tub, which I know to have cost them about three bucks because I bought them, should get you a three years and a thousand dollar penalty. What's the inflation on that? Three dollar tub, thousand dollar penalty? That's how they probably afford mm. to make so many tubs. I don't know that they're actually prosecuting tub well, theft, but um, if anybody's ever heard of anybody who's gone to jail or been fined for postal service tub theft. People definitely get fined um, for milk crate theft. So I feel like it's within the realm of possibility. Mm -hmm. It made me feel a little salty, everybody. Yeah. The punishment doesn't fit the crime. Yeah. Anyway, no. sorry to be so salty at the end. I just, it just felt like, you know, we got to fix this crazy world. Yep. There's a few different systems of justice out there. Anyway. And it depends on who you are. Sometimes it's just a mail tub that really. Sets you off. Sets you off. Sets you on a course <laughs> of social justice thing. I didn't do anything about it though. So I'm part of the problem. Yeah. I just took the tub and was grouchy about it. And what are you going to use the tub for? Fighting for justice. That with that tub, are you gonna take the mail down in it and just also that and leave also, it leave it there? Yes. So what you can do is you just load up a tub. He said, "Oh, sorry, there was a tip. Fill it with mail, leave it at the back door of the post office, and get a new tub." Can you just grab one? Yep. When you're there, okay. There's a secret back door of the post office where there's just like should tubs we, like candy. Should we tell these folks about the secret back door to the post office? Tubs? You know what? There's like six of y'all here and you're like our best friends. So I absolutely want to share our secrets with you. Um, well, if you're bulking up, bulking up your mail order business, um, you got to know that the post office on Vermont Street, secret back door, grab a tub and you're good to go. Um, looks like maybe these little cutouts here. This one didn't get cut out. I don't think they're supposed to be cut out. I don't know. They are. What? I don't know. Um, thanks for joining us today on the Wonder Fair Home Shopping Network. We'll be back tomorrow at noon for our daily broadcast. We'll be we'll be uh, doing another edition of uh, Fancy Friday. We're running out of fancy stuff here to show you, but yeah. uh, Meredith will definitely have something nice for Mother's Day. And um, and as always, give us a call if you need anything seven eight five eight five six three two four seven. Or you know we got that website wonderfairhomeshopping.com. If you miss our bathroom, go to the virtual haunted bathroom. Uh, that website is wonderfairsvirtualhauntedbathroom.com. Um, just one of our many websites that we bring you um, each and every day here from Wonderfair. Um, maximal stationary, maximal websites. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, everybody. This really has a nice, soft.